Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new motor for testing and it's from Xfoot. It's a little company that they just started out doing a couple crazy things and this is a motor they have done custom made by Sunny Sky for them, which is pretty awesome. So they went with the it's a, well, first of all, it's a 2207 motor, and they have two versions. They have a 1650 kV, which is a low kV, and they have a 2500 kV, which is this one. And they're both 2207, like I mentioned before. Now, they're not using arc magnets. They're using just normal magnets, the N52 normal magnets. And the, the gap is very minimal, as I can see right here. So as you can tell right there. Hopefully you can see that. So overall, they're using silver copper winding and it is the naked bottom motors, uh, as you can tell also. So they're going for this just plain, just hardcore black right here. It's a glossy black. It's not a matte black, uh, but it's pretty cool with the little silver accents as well as the silver copper windings. It overall looks very nice. And um, I have tested this and well, we're getting to the testing in a little bit right now. So let's just check the motor. Uh, wire length here. It's about uh, 13 centimeters, so they're pretty good here. Uh, they're going to do, you know, they're going to fit most 4 in 1 ESCs. Most frames that have 4 in 1 ESCs should reach just fine, unless you probably have a 7 inch, but I think it'll reach also. Uh, overall, it's a very nice design. It's, uh, it feels very smooth. It's not notchy at all. And uh, as you can tell right here, it's just. Um, I, to be honest, I really want to put it on a quad because it's just insane, actually, I've, after I've tested it for a 2207 class motor. So let's just get its weight real quick before we go any further. And let's see. Uh, I the low K, They also sent me the low KV, and the low KV will be tested with another uh, two low KV motors because I need to set up a low KV testing uh, setup, basically. So it's 39 grams, so it's a little bit on the heavy side here. But, you know, nothing too too crazy heavy. So hopefully it'll perform spectacular. So enough talking and let's get testing. All right, guys, so the results are in here for the Xfoot M004, which is the high KV, 2500 KV. Uh, now, I do have the low KV version, but we're keeping that for another date, like I mentioned before. That one will be tested with the uh, F40 Pro V2s low KV and the Emacs Lite V2s. Uh, I'll have two tests, you know, uh, 4S LiPo, basically, and a 6-inch, 7-inch prop, as well as a 5-inch prop and a 6S voltage lipo basically from the power supply all right so let's take a look here let's start with the king kong now i ran the test twice as you saw before as you saw it running and uh let's just take a look here so here we have the esc signal which means the throttle level so we have uh two, two 1250 which is 25 percent 1500 which is 50 and then 1750 is 75 and 2000 is 100 percent throttle so let's just take a look at the full throttle and the 75% throttle is a little bit interesting here. So it is a 2207 class motor. I don't know what to expect, but let's take a look here. So the maximum thrust we got was 1,150 grams, as you can tell right there, running at 42 amps. So it was pulling 42 amps to get 100, I mean, 1,150 grams, which is 1.1 kilograms, which is pretty insane for a little 2207. The torque is pretty good. It seems average. Uh, nothing too spectacular here. However, there's something a little bit unique about this one that I noticed compared to the other motors I've been testing. Um, it stayed cool. Usually motors tend to get warm. Some get very hot. For example, the LD power got very hot. But the cooling on this motor seems to be working fairly well or the silver copper windings is what's helping. But overall, it was <clears throat> significantly cooler. I am installing a temperature probe and we'll be having temperature readings as well as RPM efficiency and all that kind of crazy good stuff within this uh, chart on the upcoming uh, motor reviews. I would say next week, not the ones that are going to be coming out this week because I already did those. Now, let's take a look up here. 
And if you could tell here, it's it's seventy five percent throttle. It's getting around seven hundred sixty. We'll say we'll write it here seven hundred and seventy eight, seven hundred eighty grams of thrust at twenty three amps, which is very good. So um, I really like this. So it's fairly efficient. If you're not going full blown, you know, stupid hundred percent throttle, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be pulling some amps here. But obviously in the air, it's gonna be less. And you know, you have four motors running, and you have the battery. So it depends also on your battery. But here it seems to be pretty darn efficient at uh i really like this this seems like to be a sweet spot right there we should probably do more throttle levels to get that perfect sweet spot for a motor but around 75 percent throttle seems to be pr pretty nice actually as you can tell right there uh 780 grams and uh 23 amp current that's that's very good so you could put some shitty escs but don't go full throttle maybe you should limit like a sub trim or something yeah but you could do that and you could just enjoy it 780 grams is pretty good at 23 amps all right, so let's take a look at the Dow 5046 tri-blades. Now, uh, let's take a look here. So it got 1,176 grams of thrust, which was the maximum, and around 47 amps. So it is, it does, it, it, it pulls a lot of amps. It does really pull amps. So it's a 2207, but again, you know, in real world scenarios, it's going to be completely different. But you can tell here from the vibrations, uh, here the vibrations are terrible because of the prop, but here this is a brand new prop right here. Uh, it's ver it seems to be very well balanced, obviously it's sunny sky, and they're using very good bearings as they mentioned uh, when they told me about this motor. Like I'm, I don't know if I mentioned it, this was provided me by Xfoot by the way. Alright, so let's take a look here. Now let's check the 75% throttle on the Dal RC. We got the maximum was 108 grams of thrust at 25 amps, which is very good. I really like this. So it's sweet spot, you know, I, I wouldn't go full blown with this, but it's sweet spot is being around 75% throttle. So if you're always in that range, you're going to be, you, I think you'll have a pretty good time on this motor. Uh, the torque, torque is pretty good. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's pretty good actually for this one. So it's a 2,500 kV. Don't forget. So if they made maybe a 2,300 kV, it would be a little bit less and it'll be pretty powerful as well. Um, but overall, you know, it seems like a little nice one. I mean, it's made by Sunny Sky, so we know who's making it, and uh, they're just custom made for them. And the, the overall quality of the motor looks very good. They're using 6065 aluminum, I believe, because they said it's better for conductivity. Now, when I tightened it on my thrust end, I didn't have the motor basically melt uh, while tightening the screw down. That's one thing I always do when I start. I just, you know, I'm, I'm always ready to ruin one, uh, one of the threads. I just screw the living crap out of it. But I just started digging into my uh, uh, thrust stand, so it's good. When it doesn't, then I know it, it's it's bad. So the aluminum is pretty good. I really like it, and and the overall weight's pretty good as well. So it's a twenty two oh seven, and you know it's it's fairly good price actually. I think it's like sixteen dollars for this motor. Let's just double check. Yeah, seventeen dollars. Both of them, low KV and high KV. They only have uh, let's see, they have they have a bunch in stock right now. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, I'll leave a link to them down below, and. That's it, guys. That's going to conclude it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And consider joining my Patreon. I do have a lot of giveaways this month. Uh, we have a Jeb RC Sparrow. And I have built a custom 3-inch quadcopter, which is pretty insane. And no one's done it before. And it should be fairly efficient. That'll be upcoming very soon. And yeah. And don't forget to use the links down below. Those greatly support your channel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.